A Fredericton couple got their they got the fright of their life this morning when they awoke to a crash and found a car in their living room. That's just one of several high impact collisions in the capital city recently. CTV's Allison Sampson is on the scene with more Allison. A rash of extreme vehicle crashes in the Fredericton region over the last week are keeping emergency services busy. Among them, two hit homes, another slammed into a grocery store. This collision happened yesterday where an SUV flipped on Regent Street in the city's downtown after being struck by another vehicle. One of the homes hit happened early this morning around 530 when a white Toyota Corolla traveling on Woodstock Road near Silverwood slammed through a home where the homeowners Philip Brown and Anita Porter were sleeping. They were understandably too shaken to speak on camera with CTV. According to Fredericton police, who refused to go on camera today, the two occupants of the vehicle that collided with the home only sustained minor injuries and the homeowners were uninjured. While the home and vehicle were damaged extensively, the homeowners have lived there for about 20 years and were shocked saying it sounded like an explosion when they found the car sitting in their living room. The driver and passenger were transported to hospital for observation and a reconstruction of the accident took place by police. The highway and main thoroughfare was shut down to the public until about 1130 this morning. Police say it took that long to preserve the evidence left on the roadway. No word on what caused the driver to leave the road. Earlier this week, a person in medical distress lost control of their vehicle and collided with the Sobeys grocery store on Prospect Street. As well, a car hit a home in the downtown on Aberdeen Street on Thursday. No injuries were reported. And Todd, downtown yesterday, where the SUV flipped at the intersection of Regent and Brunswick Street, that woman had to be extracted by the jaws of life, but police say she only sustained minor injuries. Todd? Okay, well, that's certainly good news indeed. Thank you, Allison Sampson in Fredericton.